driver's bag. Wow, so pretty. Ooh, slow down, y'all. Some nice corners. Right, so we made it to Love's. Gonna fill up, grab some to eat, maybe. Like I said it once, I'll say it again. Love having an RV because we could use our own bathroom. All right, so dogs go potty. They're all happy. This one's happy right there. Look at her. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go. And we're gonna turn, this is our street, it's our neighbor, and this is our lot right here. Then we backed up our truck right here. This is our site looking from the main road. And the site goes from here all the way to the corner. Comes over here. One thing you're gonna love is these trees. Site number 24. We are going to Mari or Mary Vineyards in Traverse City. It's a vineyard owned by Marty Lagina, which is the Curse of Oak Island. Um, uh, they own Oak Island, and well, part of it anyways. And we are heading there right now. As soon as that door opens, as soon as it opens, we're leaving. We are gonna leave. Oh, I just saw a shadow. Mari Vineyards in Traverse City, Michigan. We're gonna explore, we're gonna do some things, and maybe we might eat to a school if she lets me. Why don't we do that? You excited? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes. Do you have a reason? No, I don't. 
that's okay. <laughs> okay, so how it works due to COVID is you have a certain amount of time. All right, we figured all that out. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, hopefully they understand because it's like a weird, like we have like a basically this they're all on slots. So it's no, like, that's cool. We'll make it work. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Um, can you, I'll give you a couple minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do we do? We just choose five or? So Actually, flights are three or four two ounce pours. Okay. If that's what you wanted to do. Um, okay. We can't really do like actual tastings right now. So right. So we don't have. Oh, yeah, so we want to do a flight then. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So timing is everything here because the next available table wasn't until 540. Why is that? 540? That's what he said. Oh my gosh. Can so we just breath? we just right, we're ready. We just made it for this table. So we're gonna try the flight, but we'll do the four different wines. We'll try the um, the Marlowe. Okay. Well, if you were to pick four wines, which ones would you pick? Because we typically we drink we drink reds typically, but I definitely want to try one of the the sweeters because it's it just it, 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 it clean the palate. But what do you think? Yeah. So um, if you really wanted to, um, I okay. So if you wanted to do the Merlot for sure. Yep. Um, yeah, we just nice. kind of brought out that Cab Franc, and I would do that one. Okay. okay. Okay, so sweeter wines are going to be down here. Most of our wine is dry, though. Most of it's dry. Okay, yeah. good. Well, that's, that's good. Much all of it. We're in all estate okay. vineyard, so we grow everything on this variety, and we're mostly Italian. So oh yeah, yeah. It's going to be mostly dry. Oh nice. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. Well, that's good to know. We don't have to have you don't have to do sweet, but uh, this yeah. is peach. Actually, I will. We'll try the Sauvignon Blanc too, because that white peach really caught my eye. Okay, yeah. We'll do Sauvignon Blanc. We're doing Cab Franc, Merlot, and, and also then, the Malvasia Bianca. Yes, please. Yes, so yes, everything please. is made on this island or on this peninsula? Yes. Yeah, so all we this. Do it all here. Okay. Yeah, so we don't do like it's all our wine. We don't all on this property. I mean, we own about. Not just what you see. Okay, so you own more after yeah, this. Gotcha. After this. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we actually just bought some property and there's like over 100 acres. Wow. Of, yeah, land that we're planning on putting okay. on. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, so this is one of our newest vineyards over here. This is mostly Pinot Grigio. Um, and that one is only about four years old. Okay. So okay. They planted that right when that we built this. Um, and then one of our older vineyards is actually back that way outside Black Star Farms where all those big white tents are. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are our hoop houses. So that's where we grow all of our reds. Um, so that one is one of the older ones. They've been making wine since like 99, I think. Wow. So, okay. Very nice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Very nice. For you, okay? Well, thank you for thank all the you info. So much. Yeah, of course. So when we got here, we had to wear our masks to the hostess stand. Yep. There are set times for tables. So the tables, I see only one, I see four, six tables, six tables on the patio. Um, and we are actually, we were able to catch a, a table until it's available until let's say 1245. So we have about 30 minutes for a table. Um, I'm sure there's a little bit more time, but the next available wasn't until after five. So timing is everything. Wow. Yeah, we were lucky. We got That's lucky. Good timing. So we're going to go ahead and we're, we actually decided to order off their, they don't serve food because of COVID. And so we did the wine flights because I think it's nice to be able to taste a little bit. So we've done four two ounces. So we'll see uh, the darks and, or the reds and the whites. That is the Marlowe. What do you think? Smooth. Okay. Subtle. And I'll like, try it now. One thing she said too is all Italian wines. So mostly, we don't have too many sweet wines. It's mostly dry. It's got a ripe cherry, soft fruit, mouth watering. Cabernet Ooh. Franc has, I think, has, uh, has Cabernet Franc and Marlowe in it. Is that the sweet? No. That's still the dry. This is swirling. Yeah, I was going to say you got to swirl it. Hmm? I'm really, I'm, I'm a, I am really like Marlowe, so here, go ahead and try that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do the swirl thing. You drink a lot more than I did. <laughs> it's a little less than that one. A little less what? A little less dry. Because it's supposed to be more dry. Probably less. Yeah. Marlowe's usually drier. Yeah, so the Cabernet Franc is a little less dry, so... We're done with the red wines. Let's try the other. Let's try the white now. Yeah, I did. 
Let us know if you're not supposed to swirl white rind, but I thought you're not supposed to. I'm not going to. Wow. Now we're talking. Do you like that? I like this one. So far. So I'm, that one is, yeah, that one's a Melvasaya Blanca. I know okay. it's night and day, red, white, right? Mm -hmm. But I like this white one. And I'm not a but white. But isn't it like a Chardonnay almost? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a, just a little bit sweet, but I'm not a white. Oh. I'm not a white wine drinker, but that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, why don't I start with the next one? All right, so the next one is going to be sweeter. That one, what's it? It's Sauvignon Blanc. It's a lime peel, white peach, Ooh, caramel, white peach. which is good for cold, I guess. Okay. All right, let's do the. Oh, this one should it. be sweet. Okay. Is that a, a our friend's type this of wine? One's sweeter. Really? Yes. You're gonna see that that one's sweeter. Cause it's got grapefruit in it. Yeah. No, I just had that one, so I'm gonna do this one next. Oh, you did have this one. You did have. Okay, so you're gonna see a big difference now. So this is the lime peel. That's the one. Yeah. Is that one not sweeter? Like the first one, not this one, but the first one. About the same. They're about the same. Try yeah. it now, real quick. Try this one, the sweeter I'm not one. Not really into sweet, so. Try that one, and then you'll you'll automatically get hit with that. Yes? Yeah. That one's got a. Yeah. I think it's because of the grapefruit, maybe. Right. Right. Well, there you have it. There it is. We're going to finish it. Um. Yeah, so everything at Mari's Vineyard is grown by Mari, and nothing's imported. It's all, it's, it sounds like it's all Michigan-based. He's got everything on the peninsula. Um, they've been, they bought an extra 100 acres, acres recently. Um, to start some more. So yeah, everything's here, and the view here is just amazing. So the land up in Traverse City definitely has uh, something that everybody needs to see. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll show you more. Yes, and real quick, uh, if you're not familiar with Mari Vineyards, this is owned by Marty Lagina, which is the owner of the Curse of Oak Island. Uh, pretty cool, but we'll get into how they got their name, Mari. I think we're going to take a quick tour or two of the place. I think that's what they said, so cool. Marty, if you're watching, I want to meet you. So you've obviously met the owners. Yep, yeah. So Marty and Olivia, um, Olivia is Marty's wife. They're very sweet. Um, they actually live here. Marty is from the Upper Peninsula originally. Um, and all, everything on this building was uh, from Michigan in some aspect or another. So everything here um, came kind of from his hometown, which is pretty cool. Um, his grandmother, great grandmother, is her last name is Mari. So that's oh, how that's how you get the name. name. Yep, that's why it's named Mari. That's her kind of a tribute to her. Okay. She used to make grappa and whiskey, and she was very Italian. So oh, nice. yeah, and she came straight from Italy, and they migrated to the Upper Peninsula. So that's kind of how. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Jesse, for everything. Oh, I'm gonna be yeah, I It is, isn't it? If I would have known to bring a chair, I'd have no, probably bring a chair. Look at it. In our truck right there. You yeah. want me to go get them? You sure you won't? Well, we should just sit down on the grass, like like they do in Sicily. Sit down on the grass. It doesn't matter. It's it's grass. It's earth. There we go. And I'm gonna sit right next to you. We decided to take a seat in one of the designated areas, the square boxes. We just found out that Marty Lagina is recording on the island. On the island. So he's not here. So he is not here. So guys, spoiler alert, there is going to be another Curse of Oak Island season. 
I don't know if, the, don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. It doesn't matter, Marty Lagina. I'm going to watch you. I got well, a t-shirt. And we, she got a t-shirt. Isn't that awesome? Well, that'll do it here from Mari Vineyards. What a great time just to experience it. We hope you enjoyed this.